Samburu County, located 350 kilometers from Kenya's capital Nairobi, is a geographically fascinating place. Samburu is a Maasai word meaning butterflies in reference to the colorful adornments worn by the Samburu people. Cattle as well as goats, sheep, donkeys and camels play a vital role in the Samburu way of life and culture. Majority of the people here are nomadic pastoralists. Faced with an increasingly dry climate, pastoralists spend much of their time searching for water and pasture. This takes away time from productive economic activities, reinforcing the cycle of poverty. Tuko na shallow well sambaye ni 4 kilometers from here. And ikifika tu kitu kama February, tunateseka mpaka tunaenda 8 kilometers. To, uh, to the wells in to sustain uh, Angalau, but uh, it doesn't actually help. As a result of these challenges, Samburu is one of six counties benefiting from the Multinational Drought Resilience and Sustainable Livelihoods Program, DRSLP. DRSLP is a five-year program co-financed by the African Development Bank and the Government of Kenya. It is a regional program covering eight Intergovernmental Authority on Development or IGAD states of Kenya, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Somalia, Sudan, South Sudan and Uganda. In Kenya, the first phase of the program covers six arid and semi-arid counties, namely Samburu, Isiolo, Marsabit, Baringo, West Pokot, and Turkana, benefiting 168,900 households. In Samburu County, the program started in July 2013 and is contributing to poverty reduction, food security and economic growth by improving rural incomes. Specifically, the program aims at improving resilience to drought by communities in these six counties where recurring droughts and drought-related disasters are common. The program is being implemented through three components, natural resource management, improvement of livestock infrastructure and management, project management and capacity building. Under the Natural Resources Management, the program has been providing support to communities to improve management of water and irrigation infrastructure. In this water supply management and development uh, component, we have uh, sub components, one being um, um, development of subservice dams and uh, earth dams. In uh, subcomponent two, we have development of boreholes, and uh, that subcomponent is development of irrigation schemes, or rather irrigation infrastructure. Underwater supply, development and management, the program has managed to construct three dams. Losuk and Longewan in Samburu West, which are both earth dams, and Lemsigioi, a wear dam. Losuk and Longewan dams are complete, each with a capacity of over 45,000 cubic meters, while Lemsigioi is still under construction and has a capacity of over 30,000 cubic meters. At each dam, the program has constructed a water kiosk for drawing domestic water and water troughs for livestock to drink from. The dams have been fenced off and toilet facilities provided. In Losuk, communities used to trek over 7 kilometers to fetch water for livestock and domestic use. <laughs> Tulikuwa tunaelekea umbali wa kilomita saba kutafuta maji. Tulikuwa tunateseka kweli kabla hatujapata mradi huu. 
una, unaenda na jerikano moja, unachoka kabla hata kufikisha nyumbani, kufikisha hiyo jerikano moja unaweka shini, wanyama wanahitaji maji wale wadogo wadogo wanaosha nyumbani, anaongoja hiyo jerikano moja. Kila kitu nyumbani anaongoja hiyo jerikano moja. Ukiweka hiyo chini unarudisha tu naenda tena ingine. Currently, the completed dam is serving more than 5,000 heads of cattle, 10,000 sheep and goats, and over 360 households. Kabla maji hii kuja, watu likuwa na shukua mbali, mbali sana kunya maji. Kwa sababu, ngombe mifuga mbao muliwana ukiunya maji hapa, silikuwa naenda kilomweza kumina tana wa ishirini kutafuta maji. Ni kwa sababu, mostly, kutoka September, mbaka March, maji hapa ni kiangasi. Mwesi sita bila maji, bila mfuga na bila chushote. Kwa hivyo siku hizo maji watu walikuwa kutafuta maji na kuna conflict sababu wanaenda kutafuta mbali. Lakini tangu maji hii kuja ili tusaidia sababu siku hizi ngombe zetu asiende mbali kutafuta maji. Inakunya maji hapa na nina malisho tu na rudi majumbani bila tatizo yote. Kwa mama wameanza kujisaidia wameanza kulimalima nyumbani. Hii shamba boy sasa mtu anaenda analima na kuja anashata jerikani yako mmoja mbili unaweka kwa hiyo sukuma yako wameanza maendeleo kwa sababu ya hii muradi tu wakati hatujapata hii muradi hawa mama hawakuwa anajua kitu kama ukulima lakini wakati huu hata kitungu unaweka kwa gunia unachotea maji ya hii dam tunafaidika hapo sana Through this subcomponent, the project has also facilitated the drilling and equipping of 10 boreholes. Angata na Nyukie, Nomboroi, Muruankai, Mugur, Loa, Mabati, Swari, Lok, Longewan, and Lesua. The boreholes, which are well fenced for security, produce water between 2.5 and 11 cubic meters per hour. They are also equipped with water kiosks and troughs for livestock. Through construction of the boreholes, waiting time at water sources and waterborne diseases have reduced significantly. At Mabati, the borehole is serving about 300 households, over 2,000 cattle, 300 camels, 500 donkeys, and 3,000 sheep and goats. Young boys and girls who would previously spend a lot of their time fetching for water can now go to school. Maji ilipo kuja, pia sisi vijana. Kuna kama hosa wenye walienda shule. Unapata iyo wakati, Hawa watoto hawa kuwa wanapata nafasi, hawa vijana wazi, hawa kuwa wanapata nafasi kwa sababu ya hiyo mara, hiyo shida ya maji. Lakini sahisi, wanaenda, wameenda shule kwa sababu maji imekuja karibu. The livestock infrastructure and management component is supporting communities to participate in management of pasture and disease and livestock marketing. The component is divided into three subcomponents infrastructure for market access, improved rangeland management, and improved livestock health. The program, through the infrastructure for market access subcomponent, has constructed four livestock sale yards namely Maralal, Lekuru, Suguta Marmar, and Poro. According to Josphat Lekuru, the pioneer of Lekuru market, the new livestock market has significantly improved business. He set up shop in the deserted area in the late 90s and attracted the interest of nearby livestock herders. Kitambo, ilikuwa tunausa ngombe kwa hile mustuni mustuni tu. Atupati mapato ya pesa ya ngombe, tunapata kidogo sana. Lakini saifu li ilifinsua hivyo, tunandelea kupata sense hapo na tusaidia kwa community. Maduka saifu ni minki. Si hata hii peka yake inajengu wapata, unayeka tu kisiku yako kidogo huko, unausa usa, badai unanini unapeleka malingini. Watu ya mbali kwa ya marala, ya kisuguta, ya kisima, si watu ya wapa peka yake. Ni watu ya mbali mbali. Inaendelea kutusaidia pia. Nimi niliolewa nilikuwa 
hiyo duka tu kati niliolewa hiyo duka tu ilikuwa kasoko ninatoka ile milima na kuja kununua unga hapa jioni narudi lakini saa hii nafurahi kwa sababu imekuwa kubwa hata mimi niko na yangu nauza duka yangu na inaendelea maisha mazuri na mimi nafurahi sana na sana tupate hata kuendelea wetu kama hizo Today through the construction of the new livestock market by the DRSLP project about 300 heads of cattle worth over 7.5 million and over 2000 sheep and goats worth over 9 million Kenya shillings are sold during market days this has made the market vibrant and attracts traders from all over the country wakati ulianza kutumia sokoni ilijengwa na African Development Bank to raise silence ndio tukwa tukaanza kuwa na volume mingi ya livestock uh, flocks of livestock kwa mingi, mbusi mingi, kondoo mingi, hapa pia ngombe kwa mingi na sometimes hata tunauza ngamia. Iko siku ngamia shashe sana kuja. Uh, wakati tulio wakati walianza ku flow uh, capacity ikakuwa ta kidogo. So ikakuwa mingi mpaka tukaanza kutoa mbusi inje. So that's why sasa ukiona bandei na ngombe ndio wako ndani ya sale yard. Kwa sababu ile market me grow, volume ikakuwa mingi. Uh, pia tumeanza kupatua watu wanaitwa monitors data monitors uh, na kasi yangu ni ku ni ku okota data na ku, ku kuweka kwa ku, ku, kujasa hiyo form na kutuma kwa kwa safa kuna safa ambayo iko ambayo inatumika kuchukua hiyo data na hiyo data ndio inatumika kwa na wanunusi na wa, wa, wanunusi na pia wausaji ukiweka kwa hiyo data ama ukifungua kwa hiyo data unapata information ya kwamba mifugo kwa hiyo soko e, ni, ni, ni iko kiasi hiyo na iko na iko na bia kiasi hiyo Through improved rangeland management, the program has helped in establishing commercial pasture farms and hay sheds. Farmers have been trained in growing pastures, harvesting and storage. In this component, we have developed uh, two pasture farms. Eh? Each farm 125 acres eh, for pasture development. Eh? And these are the Relay pasture site and the Longoan pasture site. Each of these two sites has a hay shed with a volume of 20,000 bales. And these are basically complete and the communities are producing pasture, harvesting and storing at the hay sheds. Already, farmers have grown and harvested pasture three times in Chorolerai, totaling to 6,585 bales of hay and 425 kilograms of pasture seed. The farm is directly supporting over 257 households, reducing livestock migrations and deaths during drought. Sai watu sasa atempei sana sababu ya kusaidika na hiyo nyasi. Nya, na samani wakati sasa hiyo nyasi ya hakuna, hiyo watu sasa hiyo nyasi kukushia watu na ama, ngini naenda kwa mlema pale, ngini naenda pande ule, ngini naenda na laikipia, inakuwa na gawanyika tu. Nanajua kutembea tu ni shida nyingi tu wanapata tu. Hata ngombe anaenda kwa ngamia sababu najua sasa ngombe kama sasa ya hii kwenda kwa ile melema anakuta ina mkonjo nyingine ya, ya melema. Sasa inakuwa shida nyingi sasa tuko sasa anasumbuana na ngombe sababu ya kukosa nyasi. Lakini sasa ikikuwa sasa na nyasi kama hizi sasa kama sasa kutoka wakati ule kama sasa mimi mimi sijawahi kusimama ngombe yangu yende. So sasa hivi ile hii ngombe aiendi nje iko nyumbani. Mimi napata nafasi kama ninasoma naenda shule. Kama nafanya biashara napata nafasi ya kwenda pia kufanya biashara yangu so imekuwa na faida kubwa sana kwa vijana under the third component improved livestock health the program has equipped a veterinary laboratory in maralal with diagnostic equipment materials and reagents worth 3.8 million kenya shillings and trained to laboratory assistants. The last component, project management and capacity building, focuses on human and institutional capacity building.
and each of these structures developed eh, as a management committee by from the committee members the committee selects their own management committees we have trained these committees on matters of uh, management uh, record keeping and uh, the the day to day running of the the the, 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 the structures including revenue collection where it is required especially the livestock sellers and uh, these committees are the ones who are now running the the, the, the structures they are managing the, them well in terms of water regulation they are taking care or even the breaks down they are able to do the repair on their own and uh, that assures us that uh, even after the program winds up these committees members will continue uh, running the the structures the way they were intended for to kiusa nyasi mwaka huu tunayekanga tunasemanga tunakaa shini tunaona imetoa pesa kiasi fulani hiyo pesa tunagawa hii itaingia kwa mali fulani isimamie kukata hii nyasi hii ingine isimamie mali kama kuna distraction yote isimamie so ile imebaki tunaweka ingine kando kabisa ambayo itatumika ndio baadaye tukiwa na shida kwa hii shamba tuirudishe isaidie isianguke uh, as the county government we are also planning to get so many trees to build in the dam also we have got uh, groups of women uh, together with youths we can also assist them uh, have like their, their their gardens inside so that they can sell their produce like the vegetables uh, to the uh, other people because through that they will also get uh, something at the end of the day which will benefit them which will benefit their children and even make uh, to ensure that this project also gets on well Across Samburu County, the implementation team has ensured community participation from site identification, signing community resolution forms to commit land for project activities, supervision of construction and management of the infrastructure. This is important for success of the project and building ownership among beneficiary communities. The DRSLP project has contributed greatly to poverty reduction, mainly as a result of enhanced incomes obtained from increase in production and sale of livestock among local communities. As a result, livestock-related conflicts between the Samburu and neighboring communities have greatly reduced, ensuring a sustained way of life. Yeah.